friends, hi, this is uh, Dr. Kiran Skill. Uh, I want to talk to you today about uh, a condition called uh, Autism Spectrum Disorder. It also used to just be called Autism. It had other names as well, such as uh, Infantile Autism, Canner Syndrome, Rett's Disorder, uh, Asperger's Syndrome, and some other uh, names have also been coined to describe a unique condition that occurs uh, starting in childhood. And it has to uh, do with uh, the neurodevelopment of the child such that uh, the child uh, lacks certain skills in communication and in being able to relate socially to other children and adults. So what are some symptoms that you can see in children uh, with uh, autism spectrum disorder? One of the things that uh, you will notice or the parents notice is that uh, there's lack of eye contact. There's a uh, lack of reciprocal play. There's uh, no sense of uh, joy and laughing and babbling as much uh, when the parents uh, see, you know, just play peekaboo or one of these games that um, we play with children in childhood. So, um, um, that um, deficit is apparent. So, um, what should be, what should the parent do if they notice that their child is um, not relating socially with other children, not playing with others, lacks uh, the social um, relatedness, and also has an odd way of communicating, uh, such as that they won't speak but may point to objects. So, um, what can they do about it? It's very important that uh, this be reported to the primary care doctor. And the primary care doctor basically becomes a uh, coordinator of a league of different experts that are involved in the care of uh, individuals with uh, autism or autism spectrum disorder. This includes, for example, a child neurologist. He will assess them and rule out any um, issues that may have to do with the problems with the coordination, any uh, neurological deficit that they might have. Sometimes these the children when they begin to regress, have uh, undetected ictal or seizure phenomenon going on, which causes their development to look like it's regressing. So you might check them for a uh, seizure disorder. They'll probably get a brain MRI. And they're very astute in recognizing certain genetic uh, phenomena uh, that can be correlated with the neurodevelopmental delay. Uh, fragile X being one of those uh, genetic syndromes. And, uh, so genetic uh, uh, syndrome needs to rule out phenylketonuria and other metabolic uh, disorders are usually checked for in uh, at childbirth. Uh, but sometimes uh, there are syndromes that go undetected. A geneticist is often involved in the care because genetics, uh, as you may know, has uh, is rapidly evolving. Uh, genetic tests have come much more cheaper, and there are ways to tell if there's a genetic anomaly that may be contributing to that phenomenon. <coughs> um, the other certain very unique syndromes like adrenal leukodystrophy uh, which may manifest as repressed uh, behaviors and on the MRI may uh, show some classic signs of leukodystrophy and this is a progressively degenerative condition which if recognized early can be prevented by certain medical procedures. So there are uh, these medical conditions that we recognized. So the other professionals that are involved in the care of autistic children include audiologists. You know, you want to make sure that they can hear that that is not a cause for their lack of social participation. Of course, their eyes, uh, and their visual acuity should also be checked out. And then, um, so what do you do to help them develop normally? You can teach them social skills. I've seen where children were, uh, you know, diligently taught social skills, reinforced by their parents, and they became quite good at it. 
and uh, although you know um, it may seem mechanical uh, it does help uh, it helps them to communicate with others helps them to get along better in life saying things like how are you doing please thank you those kind of social niceties are uh, taught and can be learned and practice with the great benefit and skill teaching them social skills in the sense of you know teaching them to hug their mother or father smile at them that can also be taught and that is a tremendous reward for the mother or the father because uh, uh, the parents of uh, autistic children uh, have uh, yearned to you know earn the affection of their child and um, uh, are very gratified when such affection is shown and this in turn helps them become better mothers and fathers. Uh, they are mutually reinforcing phenomena. So there used to be, it was conjectured that there was a, a cold and aloof mother and a remote and aloof dad that was causing uh, this uh, phenomena of autism. Uh, there, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of the parents of uh, Not in correlation with that. And there's no correlation with the mother being a cold. What may in fact be happening is that the child does not uh, display affection for the mother and it's very stressful for her, for her. She does not quite know how to express her affection sometimes. And that may be the perception that uh, some uh, developmental psychologist had noticed in the past. The other knowledge is, has uh, improved and we have refined that uh, perception now. It is a neurodevelopmental disorder, it's uh, caused by genetics, environmental. So the treatment for this is, um, you know, they can have psychological problems also. Intellectual development can be hampered. So if they're having psychological uh, issues, they can be treated, depression can be treated. Impulsive behaviors, aggressive behaviors can be treated. Sometimes they have ADHD that can be treated as well. And uh, it's the same medication that you would use for others. And some medications, uh, aripiprazole and uh, bil and uh, Restoradona are approved for aggressive and impulsive behaviors in children with the uh, autism spectrum disorder. You have to be, you have to monitor for side effects with the Risperidone and with the Aripiprazole or Abilify you have to monitor so that they don't become more impulsive or more fixated on a narrow uh, range of interests. Um, social skills training as mentioned is very useful and uh, uh, with, you know, with the treatment, with medication, with support, um, their lives can be improved and they can be made more functional which is the goal. A, a word about uh, autism and vaccines. This is uh, an issue that is kind of serious and uh, the fact is that with the implementation or with the uh, passage of the Individuals with Disabilities Act, IDA, uh, the diagnosis for autism increased greatly uh, and also because the criteria for autism spectrum disorder increased in the DSM-5, the, the rates of diagnosis increased so some of the children were moved into the uh, autism spectrum disorder um, because more services were available. In fact, there is not an increase in autism. The whole thing about uh, vaccines causing autism has been disproven. And it's dangerous to uh, apply this myth any longer because many children, uh, infants, have lost their lives because they were not vaccinated uh, for, MMR, for measles, mumps, and rubella. MMR vaccine. Uh, it's all been totally disproven. Anyway, with treatment, with the uh, uh, collaboration of various uh, 